us about the Lazy Makoti. What is it? Uh, well, the Lazy Makoti is basically cooking classes for the modern city girl. Um, this is the girl that uh, maybe grew up at home with a helper or all the siblings that did all the cooking or a mom or it's just a girl that wasn't interested in being in the kitchen. So now she's grown up, she's got her career and her education, everything is on check. Now all she needs is to learn how to cook. How did you come up with this idea? <laughs> well, actually, a friend of mine was getting married and she was quite worried about um, what kind of impression she would make on the in-laws, seeing as she can't cook. So uh, after doing a few lessons with her, I saw that there is a definite market for career women who really have everything going for them, except that they can't cook. So what type of recipes will you go through with the women who you help and um, what will you teach them to do? Um, I have quite a strong emphasis on uh, traditional South African cuisine or food that have become South African favorites like your milk tarts and your uh, bobotis. So uh, my focus is that because there are a lot of places you can go to to learn how to make, say, Asian or Italian cuisine, but there really isn't a place to go to to learn how to make mohodu or steamed bread or chakalaka or anything like that. Speak to us about your love for cooking. Where did you learn to cook and who taught you these amazing skills? Uh, well, I grew up in a pastor's home, so you can imagine just how much cooking we do there. Um, I've been cooking, I think, since I was like 12. So basically all my life I've been cooking. And this has turned into a fully fledged business for you. Is it something mm -hmm. that you imagined happening? Um, at, at first I was just trying to test out the waters and see how the response would be, but it really has been amazing. I, I can't believe how many girls come up to me and say, you know what, you are what I've been looking for. Now, the Lazy Makoti doesn't just end with cooking lessons. You also have amazing products that people can purchase from you. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, um, I have different kinds of aprons, full and half aprons. Um, I have chopping boards, um, wooden spoons, and just uh, basically kitchen and cooking accessories. What do you say to the city girl who shows up at your doorstep and says, I need help? but this all just seems too daunting to me. <laughs> the first thing I would say is you've come to the right place. Um, I think a lot of people find it so daunting, especially trying to learn at an uh, older age, but it really isn't. Once you get into it, it's easy peasy. Now, do you take um, the women who come to you for help through the basic steps and by the time they're done with you, will they be able to present a full meal to their new in-laws and, and their uh, partners? Yes, we do about three, uh, three to four sessions. Um, it's three hours per session and we basically try to do everything in those uh, three to four lessons. Um, everything that's really basic and by the time that I'm done with them, they, they see that it really is not as difficult as they thought. And most of the recipes that we do, they can sort of incorporate and uh, change to, to suit whatever they want to make on that day. Tell us, where do you operate from? And if somebody is watching this thinking, I need those cooking lessons, where can they find you? Uh, well, right now, I'm still just doing house calls. So you would uh, book a session on my email address, info at the and then in the comfort of your own home, I would come help you with the cooking classes. But I'm looking to set up premises where people can, can come. Is this something that is simply geared towards women who are getting married who need to learn to cook? Or are you open to teaching um, different types of women or even men how to, how to improve their culinary skills? Well, when it started out, yes, my focus was uh, the women that were getting married and that had the immediate need to learn how to cook. But um, I really am open to any girl who is looking to just learn how to cook for herself or for whoever. Speak to us about South African food for you. What makes it so unique and exciting and what makes South African food the thing that you want to teach to these women? 
Um, it's because I think a lot of our, our culture is locked in not just our languages or our dress, but also in our food. And when we move to the city, what typically happens is we adopt other people's food. Um, we eat all the pastas, all the Chinese food, but not too much of our own food. And what will happen a few years down the line when um, your grandparents or your mother isn't there anymore and there's a traditional wedding or a traditional something, who is going to prepare those food? We're losing so much of our African culture that's lost in, you know, our cuisine. So that's something that's really important to me to, um, to uh, pass on, I guess, the knowledge of how to cook our food. And finally, before I let you go, you also are a contributor online where you can find some of your recipes and your thoughts and, and funny things that have happened to you. Where can we find some of your writing? Um, you can find some of my writings on uh, the, the blog um, Just Curious, or you can go to my own personal blog, The Lazy Magoti at WordPress. And for people who are interested in buying some of your products, where can we buy them from? Um, they can also buy from my, on my email address. They can just um, pop me an email and I'll send them through the, the catalog. Info at the .com. You can even go to uh, my social media pages. Uh, you'll see all the stuff that's on there. Um, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. We're so grateful that you took the time to chat to us today. Congratulations on this amazing business, and we really hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so very much for having me.